One Trick Ponies, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Salosa, and this is Unit Lost, and I think it's about time we spoke about this. So I came across this uh, very toxic player, I must say. Uh, look at that. 54 hours on May, and it was the same story for the other competitive seasons for this player. Just only plays May and doesn't play anybody else. Now, we must make the distinction straight away before we go into this video, before people go crazy in the comments below. There is a difference between being a main and being a one trick, right? A one trick mains the only hero they only ever play and they will never change. They just play that hero regardless of what's going on. If you said to me, Stai, who's your main? I'd say, uh, okay, Reinhardt, uh, Lucio, Anna, Soldier. I can play all of those pretty well, right? But you notice I've listed four people there, right? My strongest hero, if it really came down to it, probably would say at the level I play the game at, which is like, luckily for me in Grandmaster, it would be Reinhardt, right? If there were other DPS players there, I'd let them take the DPS because I'd, I'd want them to DPS because I know I could contribute more with the Reinhardt at that point, right? That's what I'd be thinking in the back of my head. But I've just listed a load of heroes off there and that's showing flexibility. That's showing the way, Re uh, not Reinhardt's meant to be played, the way Overwatch is meant to be played. This is a game about picking heroes that work well in your team and against the enemy team. So what would be ridiculously counterintuitive to that would to just be say, right, I'm just going to play mate in every game. All of the time. And that's that's it. I'm going to play May. Now, in defense of that May player, he actually was a really good May player. But you could see things happening in that game as it was going on. Players were going, um, can you swap the May? I don't think it's working. It wasn't working. Like, it honestly wasn't working. This May wasn't. But he was a good player. You could see, like, he was putting walls up in good positions. He was doing stuff like that. But he wasn't actually contributing to the win. He would have contributed more if he changed his hero. Now, of course, this happens with all kinds of different heroes. Um, a very common main I see... Well, not a main. You see, even I'm getting confused. A very common one-trick pony I see is Mercy. Now, Mercy is a great hero. The thing with Mercy is, right, if you start playing Overwatch and you pick up Mercy, and let's say you finish your placement games and you're in gold, that's fine, right? You're going to be able to play Mercy all the way into Master. Easy, right? If you get good with Mercy, if you get good knowing when to res, which I think is a critical thing with Mercy at those lower levels, you will just blast through the ranks. Then you'll get into Master. And this is when the problems will start with Mercy, because your team will start saying things like, can you take the Lucio instead? We need the speed boost. These are things that you might not have heard before, right? Because you only ever play Mercy. You'll also notice that the enemy team will kill you, right? There's nothing better than seeing a Mercy and thinking, right, we're just going to kill that Mercy because they've got to kill you because they don't want you to res. So this can become a problem. Now, where it becomes more of an issue is when these players don't swap their heroes. And it's not just Mercy. It happens with loads. Of, in fact, it can happen with any hero. Symmetra, Torbjorn, those are the ones that come to mind where you see players who just play those heroes regardless of whatever the hell is going on. Now, there is another thing I must say. There are people that do may... See, I'm getting confused again. That one-trick pony... One trick pony main, <laughs> a single hero, right? And get them all the way to Grandmaster, even into top 500, yeah? People do this with Torbjorn, they do it with uh, Symmetra and things like that. Thing is, though, they get there faster if they played other heroes. This is what really kind of annoys me, right, with these type of players. Because they're sort of, they're so stubborn, they will not change regardless of anything. And that is the core concept of Overwatch, is changing your hero to benefit the team. Now, let's say, for example, you are a Reinhardt main. And this is, this is where I'm going to... See, I got confused again. A Reinhardt one-trick pony, yeah? And it's the only hero you can play. You're probably thinking, all right, that's not too bad, right? We always need a Reinhardt. Same for, like, maybe Anna. You always need an Anna, right? Okay, great. Or you always need a Lucio. Nobody's ever going to say no to those three heroes. You want them in every single game, pretty much. What happens, though, if somebody locks that hero in before you? What do you do then? Are you like, um, excuse me, can I take the Reinhardt? I'm a Rein main, one-trick pony, etc., etc.? And they go... Oh, I am as well. Or they go, no. Or they just don't even respond. What do you do then? See, I reckon there's a lot of players out there who are extremely good with a hero, right? Like really, really, really fantastically good. And they can play that hero at any level of the game. But if they don't get to pick that hero, suddenly their other heroes are woeful. Like, and not of that level they play at. So, an example I can give you of myself... I cannot for the life of me play Genji. I literally cannot play him. I've been trying to play him and I am horrifically bad at playing Genji. So if I was playing at like 4.2k, right, and I locked in as Genji, I would be ridiculously bad. Why I would do that, I mean, I wouldn't, but let's just say everybody picked all the heroes that I wanted to play, right? Um, so I was like, uh, right, we need a flanker, so I'm going to play Genji. It would be bad. It would be like a... A low platinum player, not even that, probably a gold level player in a Grandmaster game. I would get destroyed, I wouldn't do anything, and I'd throw the game. And that would be a problem with me not being flexible enough. And this is a, 
obviously a, a more amplified issue when you just play one character and don't play any other characters. Now, of course, I reckon the reason why a lot of people just stick to one character is because they get a lot of success with that character. So if I pick the game up now, hypothetically, for the first time, and I picked up Soldier 76, and I started playing him, right? Given my like history of FPS gaming and all of that stuff, Soldier probably would have been the one I would have picked up. And I started playing him, and let's just say, for argument's sake, I got him into Master. I'd be thinking, right, this is awesome. I'm actually pretty good at Soldier. You know, I'll just keep playing Soldier. I know him inside out. I'm not going to start playing Roadhog. Because why would I start playing Roadhog at that level when I know I can't play Roadhog at that level because I've never played him? This is a problem with Overwatch, right? Because if you go in and start playing other heroes that you're not good with, right? Then you're just gonna, well, you're not gonna contribute to the game, to the win. And I think this is what goes on with the one trick pony players because the May player I showed at the start of this video was a good player but it wasn't working in that game. Now, if that May player swapped to something else, maybe it would have been more successful. But the problem is, that May player is a one-trick pony. It cannot play anything else. So you have to just persevere, and it's like, okay, we've just got to do it. We just have to try and work with this May. It doesn't matter if the enemy team are countering it stupidly good. We just have to work with it. But obviously, it causes all kinds of toxicity issues in team chat and all of that stuff. And I think that just builds up the sort of complex these players have got. So I firmly believe one-trick ponies are a victim him of their own success. Calling them the worst players in the game is a bit harsh on my part because they're not. You know, they're extremely good with the hero that they play, but they need to be more flexible. The problem is though, they get so successful with that hero that they cannot play any other hero at that level that they've been playing the one trick at. So how do they get better? What do they need to do? Well, there are a couple of ways around this. The first way is maybe you start playing heroes that are less sort of well, this again doesn't sound too great, but less impactful or heroes that are a bit more forgiving, right? Let's say you wanted to try playing Reinhardt. Reinhardt is not that difficult to play at a decent level. You know, you're not going to be a Grandmaster player suddenly playing, you know, a Grandmaster Mercy. Then you suddenly want to play Reinhardt. You're not going to be going down into like silver level kind of Reinhardt play because you're going to understand about positioning. You're going to understand about things like that. So you can be very simplistic with Reinhardt. Just keep your barrier up, charge when it's safe and do simple things like that. Of course, the other thing is you can watch guides on you on YouTube, you can watch live streamers, you can do a lot of stuff, right? Or, and I think this is the best thing you could possibly do if you want to break out of this one trip mentality, is get another account. Now, I know this is extreme, like buying another copy of Overwatch, what the hell? You know, we're not YouTubers, we're not all of this. I, I can already see the comments already. What kind of advice is this style, you crazy bastard? But I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, it gives you a clean slate. Because if you are this guy who only plays May, or only plays Symmetra, or only plays Torbjorn, having the ability to start a fresh account is very liberating. And I went through this firsthand because in season two uh, and season, well, it was mainly season two, which and I, in the end it was season three. On my main account, Swan Stylosa, I played a lot of Reinhardt to the point of which I played way more Reinhardt than other characters. I played like 50 hours of Reinhardt and 12 hours of Zarya, let's say in season two. I can't remember the exact figures, but it was definitely more Reinhardt than anything. What would happen is when I'd go into a game, if I picked a different hero, they would say to me, uh, can you take the Reinhardt? Because they'd look at my profile, which is fair enough, right? Because you can see how much I've played that hero for. So everybody wants everybody on their best heroes. And especially if it's like a core hero. So like Reinhardt was needed, you know, and still is in, mo in, in most games. So I go back into the Reinhardt and it was an issue, right? I wanted to play other heroes, but how the hell could I do this? It wasn't like I was a one trick, but in a way it was like I was a semi one trick, right? At that point. So... Since I've gone crazy and I've got like four different accounts, because I'm an idiot, ladies and gentlemen, I admit that, I'm a goddamn idiot. But this has given me the ability to play DPS characters, the ability to play flankers, and now I've got such a varied hero pool, I feel like a way more accomplished Overwatch player. And I can tell you right now, hand over heart, I have been in games that we have won just because I am capable of playing other heroes. I never used to be able to play Roadhog. I can play him now, and I can play him quite well. I never used to be able to play uh, McCree that well. I can play him pretty damn well now. I never used to be able to play Tracer, and this was a big one, right? I really enjoyed Tracer. I played her a lot early uh, closed beta. I can play Tracer really well now, and Tracer can have a massive impact on the game if you know what you're doing. Winston, I'm working on. I'm not too great with Winston, but I'd like to get better with Winston. Zarya, I can just play her okay. Reinhardt, okay. Uh, Anna, I can play her okay. Lucio, I can play him. So there's a lot of different heroes there. Zen is a hero that I'd like to put into this um, sort of training regime that I'm working on. What I wanted to just say in this video is if you come across a one-trick pony, try not to be toxic to them because they are a victim of their own success. They will be extremely good at the hero that they play, like really, really good, like much better than you will ever be with that hero, right? Because they play it all of the time. 
It's not great because Overwatch is a game about swapping heroes and everybody kind of knows this. So it can be an issue, right, when things are not working. Just try and remember that these players probably deal with a lot of toxicity because they can only play that one hero and they're very frightened of playing a different hero because they can't play him at that level. And somehow they've got to break out of that cycle. And I've given some ideas how to do that, but it's a very long, hard path for these players. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Salosa and this is Unit Lost. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Have you come across one trick pony players? I'm not talking about people who main a hero. I'm talking about people who only play one hero. How do you deal with these players? Um, have you been toxic to them? Have they been toxic to you? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Salosa and this is Unit Lost. You can follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming, and I will catch you on the next one. Toodaloo.